Dear students, now I'm going to introduce you to dot plots. You already know that global and local alignments, they help you to compare the two biological sequences in two different ways. The global alignments, they allow you to compare the two sequences such that the entire sequences are compared, while the local alignments, they allow you to compare the two sequences in such a way that local matches are more importantly scored. Also, how do we start this process? And how can we visualize this process? So dot plots are one tool to do that. I will introduce you to these very interesting techniques. But first, let me define them for you. So dot plots, they are essentially dot matrix representations with the sequences written on top and on the left side of the matrix. So this will help you to find out which specific nucleotides or amino acids are matching with between the two sequences. So to begin with, the first thing that you need is a matrix with the two sequences written on top and the left side. So this is sequence number one. This is sequence number two. And this grid is drawn such that the number of squares is exactly equal to the nucleotides that are presented here. Now, to start with this, you need to find out which nucleotide matches with which other nucleotide which is written on the left side of the matrix. So, let's see. So, this was your first sequence and this was your second sequence. In this case, it's the nucleotide. So, probably it's the two RNA or DNA sequences. Okay. So, as you can see that A matches with A. So you can place a dot here. C does not match an A. G does not match an A. And so on and so forth. So you did not insert a dot on any of these positions. Next, you went to the second row and you started comparing C. So A does not match with C. C matches with the C here. G does not match with C. C again matches with the C. And G does not match with the C. So essentially, you have only got two dots as mentioned here. Next, you move to the third row here. So A matches with the A, you insert a dot. A did not match C, G, C or G. So therefore you did not insert any dot on these positions. Next you move to the fourth row and C only matched with this C and C matched with another C as well. So in the last row, G is there, so G matches with this G and G also matches with this other G. So if you look at it now, you have plotted these dots on the positions where the two nucleotides were matching with each other. As the next step, we'll be connecting these dots that you just uh, put on the matrix in such a way that the adjacent nucleotides will be connected to each other. There may be a situation where some of these dots will not get connected to any other dot and in that case they are simple noise or random matches. So let's see. So as you can see here these two dots could be connected. They are adjacent. These three dots could be connected diagonally. These two dots are also connected diagonally. However, there is this one dot that could not be connected and therefore this is just a random noise. So in this way, 
these diagonals they represent the portions within the two sequences that are very similar to each other so in conclusion dot plots employ the dot matrix with the two sequences that you're trying to align in pairwise sequence alignment on top and on the left side and the portions of these two sequences which may be nucleotides or amino acids if they match you place a dot in those positions and then you try to connect these dots in the diagonal orientation the matches that are adjacent represent the similar regions within the two sequences however if there are uh, some dots which do not have any uh, connection with the other dots we treat them as noise the dot dots on the diagonals are therefore the alignments that you obtain from the process